Hello, this video is all about the Tomy Dingbot from the 1980s. Hmm. Now this I purchased faulty off eBay. Uh, it was quite a while ago. I've just been looking for the listing and it's uh, where well, you can't click into it. I'll just show you what, what there is there. So it's here, below the Pinky Punk. Um, so you can see I paid £7.50 for it. Now, I can't remember what was wrong with it, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, I just remember it was sold as faulty. Um, so this is <laughs> this going to be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. So let's crack this open. Well, not, not literally. I say that every time, but, you know, maybe one day I will literally do it, but... Today is not that day. There he is. Oh, hello. Let's get rid of that. Look at that, he's even got little... Little shoes on. Little shoes made out of bubble wrap. How nice is that? I might keep that on. And a little, little scarf as well. A little scarf made of sellotape. Oh no, cling film. No, more bubble wrap. Sorry, bubble wrap scarf. Obviously, what other kind of scarf would you have? Right, so immediately I can see some rust. Fairly obvious on the screws on the bottom. It's... Mm -hmm. That's all melted by the looks of it, whatever that is. Yeah, I don't have high hopes for this. <laughs> I think that is meant to be round, but it's now not. I don't know whether you can pick that up on the camera. It's, uh, it's all flat at the bottom, but it looks like it's been melted. But I'm guessing it was just stuck in the same position for a long time and it's just sort of set that way. It's... It's dusty, it's dirty. But it's what you would expect, really. Made in Malaysia. Right, I, I never had one of these, so I don't really know what it's supposed to do or indeed how it works um, looks like it takes one battery I'm pretty confident it's not gonna work but what the hell let's get a battery and stick it in okay right, switched it on Like I say, I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to do, so what's that bit there? But it isn't doing anything. So... I'm curious on what that is there. It does open. Oh, just access to a screw, I presume, so you can take his head off. Well, we'll do that a bit later. No, it's not doing anything. Let's take the battery out. And let's undo these screws on the bottom. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> they have rusted solid. Yeah, these ones seem to come off okay. Might have to get some WD-40 or something on those rusted ones. Let's give it another go. Oh no, they're not going anywhere. Oh, 
<laughs> wow. Let's try a flathead to see if we can get some better leverage. No, I'm just chewing it up. Right, okay. Um, is WD-40 going to make any difference? Probably not. But I don't really fancy drilling them off. Yeah, really don't want to drill them off. <sighs> Christ, why did I buy this? slightly bigger screwdriver. Oh goodness me. It's coming. Wow. I'm guessing we're gonna we're gonna encounter some rust inside this thing. Right now what? Let's take the one out in the head. Disassemble. Oh wow, okay, there's like cobwebs and stuff inside there, that's nice. At least I can give it a good clean, it all comes apart. How do you get this bit apart? That's the question. Question to which I do not currently have the answer. Mm, nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. This all just looks like pretty fascia. That looks like it's moulded in, so that. Don't think that comes off. That is not wanting to come apart. I don't want to snap his arms off. Oh dear. Anybody know how to take apart this thing? Oh, 
Oh, aha. Yes, we have another screw under there. That's weird, this one doesn't feel like it wants to come off. No, it really doesn't. Oops. I'll get that later. Okay, let's undo these screws. Too big. Wow, even that's rusted as well. Take those off. Do you take those off? Yes. Aha. That was much easier. Oh, good grief. Oh. Oh wow. Hmm. I think uh, Mr. Dingbot needs a bath. Oh, this is gross. How did this person store this thing? Oh, stuff's falling out. Ah, right, I've got to try and remember where all these things go. Right. Well, that looks quite loose, but it's, I think it's still connected. That's the motor. Presume goes from these battery contacts, which actually looks surprisingly clean, considering the rest of it is covered in rust and stuff. It's kind of what you'd like expect the uh, the insides of a vacuum cleaner to look like when you have. Pets. Tiny pets. There's just fluff and hair and all sorts just wound around this. What I don't want to do is spend hours cleaning it if it if it's never gonna work. Because it's pretty gross. The stuff still moves. Those gears are still moving nicely. Don't look like they're broken. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to get my multimeter and I'm going to see if we're getting some voltage. It's probably the easiest place to start. Okay, so let's try one point five. Okay. Let's see if it's actually reaching. So let's switch it. Oh Okay, as as has happened on several occasions. <laughs> Just by taking it apart, it starts to work. I wonder if that wire was loose because I messed about with it, didn't I?
Oh. Well, it's definitely doing stuff. I'm guessing that this being out of shape and not circular like it's supposed to be won't be helping. And I think it just needs a damn good clean and probably some re-greasing of these gears. I'm a bit reluctant to strip it down further because I don't know whether it's all just going to ping out at me. But I could do with getting this out. Oh god, it's just... look at that. Oh, oops. Yeah. Yeah. I might be able to fit another O-ring on that. And I might be able to do it without taking it apart. I think I probably can. Right, I'm going to try and clean as much of, much of it as I can with the IPA. I'm going to put these in the in the sink and all the other bits that I've taken off. Might as well put them in the sink as well and give them a give them a good scrub. This is going to take me ages, by the way, so I might just. Uh, I just fast forward through this. Yeah, I don't know how to do that clicky hand thing. Anyway, I've cleaned this up to the best of my ability. You can see all the crap that came out of it. Um, these are the cotton buds, or the Q-tips, if you're uh, from the States. So I'm going to go and take all these bits, and I'm going to go and wash them in the sink. And I'm going to try and find some replacement for these wheels because they're just crumbling. Yeah, so maybe I can get a couple of O-rings that can fit around these to act as uh, tyres. Um, and then I'm going to grease these gears that are visible. Put it all back together and hope and pray. Let's try that clicking thing again. No, it's not. Et voila. All right, I found a few O-rings, and I think they're going to work just nicely. They seem to be a good fit for that. This one that's slightly smaller is pretty much bob-on for that bottom gear, so... I'm going to give them a go, see if they work. Uh, how do I get this one back in? Like so. Okay. There's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. I'm going to put some silicon grease on the gears using a Q-tip. Okay. I'm going to get the dirty rotten track out. Good grief. Shitting. Okay, this is going to take forever. Jump cut. There we go, that didn't take long at all. They might actually be too big now. Does fit in there nicely. It certainly looks the part, but I don't know whether. It's going to throw something out because it's now going to be a lot 
bigger than it was. Right, let's do the other one. Where is the other one? <sighs> Jump cut. That one was actually a lot easier to take out. Probably didn't even need to do a jump cut there. There we go. Oh, sh shine a light. Found that other bit that was uh, went flying off before as well. It's not as clean as the rest of it. I'm just going to put the battery back in, just see if we've got good movement everywhere. So that's moving okay. This one's not moving. Oh yeah, there we go. These all seem to be moving okay. That, I presume that's for the head. And that also seems to be moving okay. I forgot to grease that bit, didn't I? Let's just put a blob of grease on there. Blob. Is that meant to go round? Surely it's just going to go around in circles. Hmm. Well, I've just Googled it, and the general consensus is that this thing does just go around in circles, which is just bizarre. Um. I don't know, but let's put it all back together now. Um, let's just see if it does indeed just go around in circles. And let's just make sure all the everything moves like they're supposed to. I don't know if the arms are supposed to move, but I'm guessing the head does. Uh, and the feet things, these things. I don't know. But let's uh, let's try and reassemble it. Reassemble. Good God. Why did I take this bit off? Because it won't bloody go back on. There we go. There we go. Right, um, screws. Yoink. Those. All done. Let's pop the battery in. Switch it on. Right, well it works, so I'm going to clear all this stuff away um, and then we'll try it on the table, see what it does. Christ, the opposite of shooting. Right, here we have it. Let's try it now. was close.
Right. Well, I think it works. Um, so I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. That, I mean, it, it wasn't particularly broken. Um, it obviously it didn't work when I when I received it. It was rusty, but the rust is not inside. The rust just seemed to be on the screws. Um, there must have been something. Maybe I pulled a lot of hair and dust out of it. Maybe that was just clocking, uh, clocking, clogging the mechanism. Uh, maybe it was clocking it as well. I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, as soon as I removed all that, uh, greased up the gears, give it a good clean. Popped it all back together. It's working, I, I think, fine. It still seems to be very random and go around in circles a bit, but it's not just one continuous circle, which is what I thought it was going to do. So I'm quite happy with that. I might make him a little a little map. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that now. Oh, I didn't click before. There we go. He's now got a little map to read. How good's that? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this for seven pound fifty. I mean, I don't know how much these are actually worth when they're working, but you know, it's a nice little piece of eighties, eighties nostalgia. Not that I ever had one, but uh, nineteen eighty four, I believe it is as well. While I was googling it, for anyone that's interested, not that you probably are, but follow the map. No, where you? Excellent. Okay, so that's that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you got any enjoyment from it, <laughs> please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe for more Can I Fix It and How-To videos. Thanking you and goodbye.